a movie that I finally got around to watching maybe like a, a week or two ago was The Blair Witch Project. Now this this was my first time watching this movie. I, I'm not really sure what compelled me to watch it at the time. It's just a spur of the moment decision and it it, it it's always been one of those movies that I'm always meaning to watch. I never get around to watch, you know, a, a big movie like that. Like, for example, a movie like Saving Private Ryan. I just haven't watched, haven't gotten around to watch, and who knows if I'll ever, if, if I ever will get around to watch it. But uh, specifically, The Blair Witch Project. Now, I had mentioned, I'm sure, several times now how, uh, like, over the last four or five years I would say I've been getting into horror movies more and more you know giving them more of a chance and this the Blair Witch Project has always been one of those uh, one of those classic horror movies that you, that you feel like anyone that you feel like everyone should check out like everyone that's kinda like the that's kind of like uh, the uh, the the dialogue, so to speak, surrounding this movie is like, oh, you should you should definitely check out this movie. You should you should see this movie. Like, why haven't you seen this movie? So that's that that, that that's just kind of how it is. And now, the movie the movie is very good. It, it it's a very good movie. It's it. I don't know if it's as scary watching it now as it might have been then, just because of. Just because at that point in time there was nothing like that, and now we're more oversaturated with found footage stuff, so it's kind of less scary. But it was still, it was still scary to a sense. Uh, I wonder if there was something wrong with my volume watching this, because I had I had a hard time hearing stuff. Like there were supposed to be whisperings and stuff going on in the background that I just couldn't hear. You know, like subtitles told me there was whispering, but I didn't hear any whispering. But Maybe that was just maybe that was just my computer or the volume on my computer or something. But I'll say that the film didn't it didn't do as much for me as it might have done for other people, and that's probably just because those people you know saw it when it came out, and they were around to experience that movie. And I say the word experience because it's at that point in time it's almost really like an experience in, in a way and it's interesting we give it credit for starting the whole, for starting the whole found footage thing which i bet you can like dig and find a found footage movie that came out before blair rich project but blair rich project was definitely the the movie that really gave found footage the oomph it needed to become used more often and the found foot I mean not found footage uh Blair Witch Project it's almost like one of the very first event movies like this movie is more of an experience than it is like a movie kind of I mean it, it is a movie but it it this movie is it's almost like supplement to its viral marketing campaign which I wasn't really aware that it had a viral marketing campaign. It was one of the first movies. It was definitely. It was also one of the first movies to actually have a viral marketing campaign, in which there's almost more to the viral marketing campaign than there is in the movie, like the website they created and the myth behind, and then and the mythology behind the story that that, that they were creating. There's so much more there than there actually is in the movie. It's kind of like the best example would be Cloverfield. Cloverfield is very much like a modern day Blair Witch Project. Not not just being found footage, but the viral marketing campaign behind it. There's so much more information, you know, not in the movie for Cloverfield about this monster, where it came from, how it's going on, the shit about satellites and stuff. And I think, like, people at the time, some people at the time believed the Blair Witch, that the story behind Blair Witch Project was true. I, I, I'm pretty sure that was, like, a big part of uh, of seeing this movie, 
was people believing that it that it actually happened because they had built up this this huge backstory like going back and back and back into into years talking about all the events that happened surrounding this and acting like the people who disappeared in this movie really did disappear like you know at so and so point in time we found their car abandoned by the woods and then blah 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 and you know all, all the history behind it just like all this stuff that it, that isn't really in the movie and it's it's like which is which supplements the other is it the movie that supplements the viral marketing or is it the viral marketing that supplements the movie and that's interesting because you can almost view the movie as just like a piece a piece of the story it's just it's just this one little just this one little uh selection that you just you know you reach in there and you grab that out and you show that and that's the movie and it, it almost like that's almost what it is with the found footage format it's they're saying this is what happened this is the story these people went missing and then it's like oh by the way we found their footage that they have here we'll we'll show you that and it's it, it, it's almost like a movie second it's it's interesting how how what they did here what they you know what they uh what they built up so to speak and then there's been i don't think there was anything like it at the time and there really hasn't been anything much like it except for maybe cloverfield or uh I think that I think Super 8 ha had a little bit of that. I don't think the two other Cloverfield movies, uh 10 Cloverfield and Cloverfield Paradox, I don't think they had a big uh marketing, I mean viral marketing campaign either. I mean Cloverfield Paradox, we didn't even know what was happening until like the day of, so they didn't have much of a marketing campaign at all. I don't know, it's it was interesting. It's it, it's definitely so much more an, an experience movie, which can tend to have a negative effect, so to speak, throughout the years. If you don't get to experience it the way it was experienced, then it doesn't have the same impact or effect on on you watching it the first time. Like I didn't know anything about this viral marketing campaign, and I didn't. I didn't go into this thinking that this actually happened, that this was actually based on true events, like some people were mistaken in thinking. So it's just, it's it, it's interesting how how this viral marketing campaign had such an effect on the movie and the experience of watching the movie in general too. So it's it's some it's something that. You don't see such a big event movie like this often, in my opinion. Uh, y y you get some movies that are more like a, more of just an experience. Like uh, Infinity War was really more just of an experience. You know, the, the culmination of the ten years, blah blah blah, all these people together. But I, I guess there's a difference. There's a difference between like an event movie and like an experience movie. I don't know. But that was my somewhat review of The Blair Witch Project.